Good morning. As you can see, I've got my hair really plain and simple today. I'm waiting on um, a haircut. And today's vlog is going to be about um, postnatal hair loss. And I've had a lot of it. Uh, people that know me will know that I am, well it used to be a sensitive subject but it's not really anymore because at the end of the day it's my hair and I'm fortunate to have hair growing out of my head. Uh, some people with different conditions like alopecia, people that are going through cancer treatments haven't got hair on their head so I can't grumble. Um, but everybody has a little grumble and today my grumble is postnatal hair loss. Now my fringe was this way. Um, and I think on one of the videos I have like a middle part in and today I've just done, this is coming down later, but I've just pop, popped a little side bun in because about three weeks ago um, I realised that my hair was falling out and it was falling out in clumps. Now I've always had really fine hair um, but it was really falling out. Now I'd had quite thick voluptuous hair for me, thick hair for me when I was pregnant and then for weeks and weeks, months after, and I've just hit the four month postpartum, uh, Georgia is about 17, well she's 18 weeks this coming Wednesday, so I've managed to get four months after birth with nice, nice hair and now it is thinning and falling out, so I will show you. The good thing is I've heard that it stops around the six month mark, it stops shedding. Um, but it, uh, let me cut a long story short. Okay, so here we go. Dun, dun, dun. All here. And a lot of people wouldn't show this. I don't, well, a lot of people would, a lot of people wouldn't, but you can see it's just baby hairs coming back now. Um, like when I go out, you know, yeah, I keep it under wraps. I, I keep it under a fringe like that. Um, and it's not as noticeable. It's the other side too actually googled postpartum hair loss, there we go, and this is where it tends to fall out, around this area, so as you can see it goes back quite far on this side, so yeah, there's a lot of hair come out, from the clumps that were coming out in my tangle teaser, and the clumps that were coming out in the shower, I did know there was a lot, but I didn't quite realise how much, now when I go for my hair cut, this Saturday or the Saturday after, I'm not sure, um, I'm going to ask my good friend Sophie, my hairdresser, uh, to have a look because I haven't seen round the back or anywhere else yet so I don't know if there's any other patches but um okay baby's just been sick just bear with me <laughs> baby's nice and clean now she had been sick but she's all right now I've wiped her mouth but she is pushing a little bit I think she's having a poo poo so anyway it is a mummy vlog so there we go baby having a poo being sick um so yeah on back to the hair um, I need a good cut because it's ratty at the ends, but like I said, I've shown you bed all um, the, the patches here and like I said, I knew I knew it was falling out I was getting a lot in my tangle teaser brush and I was getting a lot in the shower But I didn't realize to what extent It was actually coming out, but I'm gonna have a full fringe put back in I think and I'm gonna go easy on The highlights. I'm not gonna have any more highlights for a little while. Let it thicken up again. Um, but I did want to show you the um, multivitamins that I'm on, the different vitamins that have been recommended to me by um, a really, really knowledgeable um, lady in the local Holland and Barrett. I'm not sure of her name, I'll, I'll give her a shout out on the next post, but she's fantastic. She's helped a few of my family members with different health concerns and she's spot on usually, so I'm hoping that she's spot on this time. Let me show you. So... Firstly, I explained other postpartum um, symptoms that I have um, since birth. I have like red hot, I can just describe it as like red hot flushes up my face. Um, it's hard to explain. My skin actually comes up in like a raised bump where the, heat, the hotness is coming up. So like patchy, blotchy, red. Um, my baby's putting me off. <laughs> For that she recommended these really, really high dose, keep going the wrong side, even in Primrose Oil, thousand, there we go in the count. So even in Primrose Oil, those are actually extra strength, 
um, cold pressed and they've got B vitamin 6 as well um, so hopefully they're going to be good for my hormones because this face rash thingy type um, symptom is apparently down to hormones and imbalance of hormones so hopefully those will help to balance my hormones those are from Holland and Barrett like I said then I'm on the old trusty B100 <laughs> um, vitamin B complex it's a really really high dose of your B um, B vitamins B1, B2 um, B6, B12, folic acid, biotin so everything that you need really when you're pregnant as well um, so post pregnancy B100 I'd highly recommend those my sister did have she won't mind me saying I hope <laughs> no I know she won't mind me saying um, she had a B12 deficiency since then I've taken this B100 and I swear it's given me more energy so B100 there's also one called Busy B it says here supports normal energy yielding metabolism and contributes to the reduction of tiredness and fatigue well any new mum will know <laughs> that sounds like a good thing to take so next one my usual I got this on offer the other day it was on um, 2 on offer so you get 60 in there which is great my vegan multivits now even though I'm not a vegan um, I'm a vegetarian and it's got everything in there so, vitamin A, D, C, E B1, B2 niacin, B6 B12, folic acid, calcium, iron, zinc, everything. So, the vegan multivit. And I'm taking a sea kelp. I've been warned about these, um, that they can cause overactive thyroid. So I'm being really careful and I'm only taking one a day of these. It does recommend one to three. So I'm taking one a day um, and that can help with hair growth and skin and hormone regulation. So that's sea kelp. I'm being really quick because I don't want to blab on today. And a giant ferroglobin. Ferroglobin? Ferroglobin? So, a um, multivit, it's got everything in. There you go, you can pause the video and have a quick look. It is back to front, but if you Google ferroglobin, you'll be able to see what's in it. It's a giant bottle like this. I take one tablespoon a day. Now it says two teaspoons, but I just decided to take one tablespoon. So there we go, that's what I'm that's what I'm using. And in about a month's time, I'll do another vlog and see if this pesky hair's grown back. <laughs> My poor hair. I envy people with lovely hair. No, I don't really. I'm really happy for them because I know what it's like when you've got thin hair and then it falls out. Great. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye, have a nice day.